Welcome. Hello and welcome to Open Everyone. I'm Rina Valentin, your hosty Café con Leche for the next hour. Always inviting you to get social with us online. That's right. Tweet us and follow us on Instagram at BronxNet TV and like us on Facebook at Open BronxNet Television. And of course, while you're there, don't forget to follow moi on Twitter, Instagram, FB, Snapchat at Rina Valentin. Our first guest this week is a Gulf War veteran turned visual artist who uses unique materials to create his artwork. What developed as a hobby a decade ago has now given him opportunities to showcase his work throughout the city. Here now to share more, please welcome self-taught wood-burning visual artist Indio Melendez. Hello. Hello, Rina. Thank you so much. Thank you for being here with us, Thank Indio. You. <laughs> I'm so happy to showcase you to our viewers, uh, considering our history. Uh, yes. We've known each other for very many years. I've known you as a thespian, as a fellow theater performer, and to learn of this new art, even though I've known about it for quite some time, because I'm one of your collectors yes. and one of your biggest fans. Yeah. It's really refreshing to see how it's really taking off for you. So let's just share with everyone a little bit about, uh, I guess, the inspiration behind it, how it even came to you. Well, it, it kind of came across by accident. Um, a couple of years ago, over a decade ago, uh, my brother-in-law, who's a handyman, was working around the house. He had a sorta, and he left it on a piece of wood, and it burnt. Um, I saw it and saw images, um, and I was like, oh, maybe I could do that. So I picked up the sorta and just started drawing on wood. And years later, uh, these images have uh, developed uh, to uh, a mystic art pieces, which you have. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. It's, it's really a fascinating story because your artwork, it has its own voice. And yes. um, in some form, you can kind of sense that you're like this vessel of messaging being channeled. Uh, I mean, if we were to get spiritual about it, you're kind of, there's symbolisms in your work. Um, I'm one of his biggest fans. My whole home is, I mean, I get all his pieces because as a matter of fact, I even have issues selling them because I just want them all <laughs> to myself. Uh, we just did a holiday market together and I think I wanted like every single uh, image and, and thank you for also donating for the raffle. Um, but the point behind uh, your work and, and why I'm sharing all of this with you guys is, is that, you know, most people go to school for art and I'm not saying that you shouldn't to develop your artwork, but it's something when somebody finds it and it's just rightfully given to them and it's utilized at, at, on the level in which you have. I mean, how many pieces do you have under your belt now? Oh, wow. I have over 40 uh, pieces um, and most of my uh, pieces are reflections of Yoruba images. I'm a Santero, and um, through their divine uh, grace, I'm able to manifest their images on recycled, reclaimed wood. Right, we're looking at some of the images oh, now. Right. That's what I was pointing yes. at, so that you can just share a little insight as we move forward yeah. through them. Yeah, that's El Machu Chango, that's who I'm crowned, Cabio Sile Chango. Uh, that's one of my favorite pieces. Um, and so are you m m primarily inspired by the Yoruba religion? I am. Most of my work is uh, inspired by the Yoruba, Yoruba religion. Mm -hmm. uh, I prepare the material on a spiritual level with cascarilla. I blow smoke on it in aguardiente. And then I put on some Yoruba music and then I ask the higher energies to let me see what it is that I'm supposed to draw. So we're looking at some images that look like they require a lot of detail. So I'm just curious to know, like, how long does it take you to make a piece like that? That piece right there took me about four months uh, to make. That's a uh, Yemaya. I was able uh, to sell that one. Yeah, but that picture doesn't capture capture the size of it. That's a bigger piece than yes. what it looks on air. So it, <laughs> just so everybody's clear, it's like how many months? Six yeah, months? Uh, four months. Four months. Four months, and it's really big. Actually. Yeah, that's four feet um, by two feet wide. So it's four feet long by two feet wide, um, and I have a series of them. Um, uh, currently, I'm doing. Uh, collection of all the Orishas because I hope to do some work with La Reina del Barrio very soon uh, <laughs> and showcase all of my artwork. Which you already did. <laughs> yes, you I did. did. An amazing job. And uh, I was amazed to see how your art pieces went like this. Yes, they did. Um, the fact that you're able to even let go of them is miraculous to me. I'm a little hung up on that yeah. because well, they're really beautiful. 
Well, I like to think that they have Ashe, which is uh, some kind of power, some kind of mysticism with them, and I like to share that Ashe with others and hopefully bring some luck, some ire into their homes. So, and I'll live on forever through my artwork. That's beautiful. So that's, yeah, that's yeah. beautiful that you're even sending that intention behind it. Yeah, yeah we're looking at some that's awesome Baba images. Lua, yeah. That's your Baba Lua idea? Yeah. The same day you were born, Rina. That's right, December 17th. Yes. Thank you. God bless you. Yeah. <laughs> So um, I, I'm so happy to be showcasing your work here on Open. We're still looking at some of your beautiful work. And uh, I, I have to be honest, the images, even though we're, we're sharing with our viewers, they don't really do justice to the actual, the, the actual material when you see it and you yeah, feel it you and feel you touch it, it and yeah. you see the details that are really involved in, in the design. So um, the fact that you're saying you, you also do it with the intent of blessing people's homes, uh, yeah. um, you... you just recently had uh, a nice exhibit somewhat uh, yeah. at the Bronx Museum for the holiday market. So uh, where do you see yourself going from here? Um, as a visual artist, Indio, because uh, I don't think people recognize you as this amazing visual artist that you are. Yeah, and I really have to thank you, Rena, for pushing me because, like you said, it started as a hobby. And little did I know that so many people would be interested in my pieces. Um, as I made my pieces, they go into my santo room, which is a room dedicated to all the Orishas. And people have come to uh, greet my, my, my santo, and they've been like, oh, who did this? And, right. and then Rena was one of them. He was like, India, we got to get you out there. We got to get you uh, seen. And um, thank you so much for uh, pushing me. And uh, as far as 2017, I hope to have an exhibit. I hope to work more with La Reina del Barrio yeah, uh, and represent. You uh, you and everything that you stand for, um, and I'm very, very glad. It's our honor. It's our honor to showcase you, India, really. Thank you. Uh, thank you for blessing us with your talent and for being able to let go of it. I'm still yeah. stuck on that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just so stuck on, like, how do you let go of it? Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's giving away blessings. You it know, is. That's the way I see it. It is. So. And blessings to you in your new <laughs> year. Yes. And uh, may you have a happy 2017, and thank you for being here with us. Thank you, Rena. All you right. do the same. Thank you. All right, once again, for more on Indio and to check out his work, you can visit indiomelendez.wordpress.com. We do have to take a quick break, but don't go anywhere. Our open artist spotlight, Delilah Talinji, will be caroling us throughout the show. Rocking on.